Again, Julius here from Mojas Web Digital Solution, and today I have some great tips for you as regards Google AdWords. As a Google partner who manages a lot of campaigns for different businesses in different parts of the world, we understand what is actually happening in AdWords. We know that a lot of people are facing different challenges, particularly account suspension. And in this part of the world, that issue is very prevalent. So today I have five tips I would like to share with you, and these tips are very helpful if you want to run a successful advertising in AdWords without having any issue so I have five of them and the number one is create all the required landing or all the required pages on your website so if you're running adverts on Google it is necessary for you to have all the pages available and one of the some of the pages are privacy policies and disclaimer pages so these two pages are very important because Google actually wants to see that your website complies with their policy and that all the information on your website are very transparent to the users. So when you're creating a landing page for your AdWords campaign, it is necessary for you to have all these pages available. Let your landing page has a link to your privacy policies and disclaimer pages so that users when they come to your website, they will be able to read the privacy policy and the disclaimer on your website. So this particular is not only helpful for you to run adverts on Google alone, it's also pro protecting your business from any issue that might arise as a result of this proof from clients. So the number two I have is for sensitive products, particularly adult related products, for sensitive products such as adult products, use illustrated images. This is very important because I know a lot of people in Nigeria run adverts on adult related products, sexual, sexual products, and a lot of people use images, real images of people. This is not actually this, this is not allowed in AdWords. So if you want to advertise something related to adult products, it is very help, it, it is very recommended for you to use images, illustrated images instead of using actual images. Using illustrations, Google knows that this particular landing page is not portraying, portraying these images, but is using illustration to actually to actually explain a lot of things to the user. So when you click on the landing page and you want to advertise your adult related product, it is advisable for you to use illustrated images instead of using the actual image of maybe sexual organ or whatever. So the number three is avoid false and unrealistic claims. A lot of people you do this all the time. So some claims are unrealistic, we all know about it. And if you are advertising some product and you're using these types of claims, these unrealistic claims, Google definitely know that these claims are unrealistic and they will clamp down on you. So instead of using unrealistic claims, it is better for you to have all your all, all, all the information on your landing page very transparent so that users when they read your landing page they understand what your landing page is all about and what 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 your product is not all about so having false information or, for, or, or unrealistic claims on your on your landing page will definitely lead to account suspension or disapproval so it is better for you to have a landing page that does not have unrealistic claim because google hates it a lot and it's one of the egregious policies violations when you have it on your landing page and the number four i have on my list is avoid avoid repeated policy violations the policy violations in adword is very common especially in nigeria and um, when you're trying to advertise on Google and you keep violating the policy, there's a time when the violation exceeded the limit, your account will be suspended. So if you want to maintain your account, you want to do without suspension, it is necessary for you to avoid repeated violation. And once your account violates Google's policy, before you go ahead and resubmit your campaign, try to rectify all the issues pointed out in the violation. If the landing page is having issue, maybe due to policy violation, maybe due to uh, the, the false claims, uh, 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 landing page uh, uh, absence of policy or disclaimer pages, it is necessary for you to get this fixed before you resubmit your campaign. Otherwise, your ads will be disapproved again. And when you keep violating the policy again and again, your account will definitely be suspended. And the last one on the list is the last one on the list is avoid copyright violations. 
copyright is a very serious issue in some parts of the parts of the world though it's not very serious in this part of the world in nigeria however it is still a violation which you must try as much as possible to avoid in ad words so copyright violations can lead to your ad disapproval and when you keep violating the issue the, the policies again and again your account will be suspended so to avoid account suspension it is good for you to avoid copyright violations and other tips i have mentioned earlier so let me recap the tips avoid copyright violations create all the necessary line the all the necessary pages on your landing page avoid false claims and declaration avoid using realistic real images when you're trying to promote adult related products and make sure that your landing page has all the information so when you have all these things in place your adwords account will be held and heady and you'll be able to run adverts on google adwords without any issue i hope this information will be helpful for you to create a good landing page and to run advertisement on google without account suspension thanks again for watching this video and watch out for our next video do endeavor, do endeavor to subscribe to our channel or visit our website if you need to know any, anything about or just web digital solution thanks you again and bye for now